the devastating wildfires in California this month remind us of how grateful we are to the men and women around the country who risked their lives to fight the flames. The new movie, Only the Brave, is based on the true story of the Granite Mountain Hotshots. These are firefighters who made the ultimate sacrifice. And Al had a chance to catch up with one of the stars, a guy we adore. Yeah, hey, Al. Who doesn't oh, love he's Jeff best. Bridges? I yes. gotta tell you, I got to sit down with Oscar winner Jeff Bridges, who hopes the movie will honor the courage of the 19 firefighters who died in Arizona in 2013. He says the film doesn't focus on the tragedy. Instead, it celebrates their lives. Mm. Four years after the deadliest fire in Arizona state history, the heroes from the front lines are being portrayed on the big screen. You want to do justice to what happened. It's really invaluable to have people who are actually involved in it to be there. You're being evaluated. Ah, I'll hit you with the details. Good luck. Bridges plays retired Wildland Division Chief Dwayne Steinbrink. He wasn't fighting alongside the crew, but was partly responsible for getting them certified as hotshots, a specialized unit tasked with confronting the toughest wildfires head on. We got to uh, really get to know each other, and he helped, you know, immeasurably. New start in the Chiricahua Mountains. Eight up 9,000 acres since yesterday. This is it, Eric. Here's a guy who, it seems like, on, on the one hand, has a tremendous amount of pride, but that there's a certain reticence. You're sending these people out into, into harm's way. Yeah, um, he knows that it's a job that needs to be done. You all are one of the best damn crews I've ever seen. I really appreciate that the movie doesn't really focus on the tragedy of it, but, but what are these guys? They have this uh, you know, remarkable uh, courage and uh, bravery. Enjoy this little town. Of course, this isn't the first time we've seen Oscar-winning bridges in a cowboy hat. <laughs> I gotta watch that, man. Can't play too many cowboys in a row, man. I'm in trouble. Thank you so much. When people approach you, I mean, what's the role do you think they, they most associate you with? Oh, the dude. The dude. The dude. <laughs> I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? You gotta kind of appreciate that. Oh, yeah, man. I'm proud of that. You know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Are you the dude? All the parts I've played are aspects. That's how I start my preparation, look inside myself and see what aspects of myself I might magnify or ones that don't apply, you know, kind of kick them to the curb. Hey! Like the big Lebowski's The Dude, Bridges is admittedly zen. You've got this wonderful marriage you know, mm. 40 years plus yeah. what's the secret well it's interesting <laughs> bravery and courage come to mind <laughs> man when there's a problem and if you've been married 40 years if you've been married like 10 days you're gonna get problems man. but when they come up those are opportunities man those are opportunities to achieve more intimacy get to know each other it's a weird thing to say but that's where the the gold lies in the, in the marriage to so many of his fans, Bridges is pure gold, an iconic actor and true gentleman, bringing his signature gravitas to a new role. I hope people feel the same way, is that it's inspiring, you know, about bravery and what that means, and take a look at our own lives and see where we might be a little more courageous. Only the Brave hits theaters today. Wow. All right. Thanks so much, thanks, honey. Sal. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.